Hey, Hickok 45. We got a Remington 870 12 gauge. Wilson Combat Border Patrol. Uh huh. Yeah, pretty cool. And guess what we're going to do with it? Well, you watch and see if you can tell. <laughs> Nothing like a moving target, huh? All right. Yes, Remington 870 with a few uh, add-ons. Let's talk about it while we load it back up here. Yes, this is uh, one of my very favorite shotguns on the planet, I have to tell you. You know, we've been having some fun with, a, what, a UTS-15 and, and uh, the KSG, all these uh, high-capacity short shotguns, easy to short chuck shotguns, <laughs> and it's nice to get an 870 back in my hands. And this is from Wilson Combat Border Patrol. Believe it or not, it's a T&E gun. Uh, you know, who'd have thunk it? Uh, but I, I love this. I've had a couple of different, well, I've had a couple of different ones of these, actually, over the years. And, uh, you know, they uh, bought, I guess, uh, Scattergun Technologies, who used to be located right here in Nashville. And this is, uh, you know, Scattergun Technology, uh, now a division of Wilson Combat. And... John somehow got a hold of mine. I sold it to him, traded it to him, gave it to him. We had some kind of deal. He has mine now, which is very much like this. And I just miss it. I mean, I just really do. Not because there are not 870s all over the gun shelf. I guess they're still on the gun shelves. You know, we're just a couple days after Christmas here, and so who knows. But the thing about these are these uh, Scattergun Tech uh, track lock rear sights i've just always been in love with them they're so low profile they're like a tank uh you almost don't know they're on there unlike so many ghost ring sights that stick up about this high with big wings look like the gun's gonna fly away these are just uh kind of the minimalist uh version of ghost ring sights and they work and they're adjustable for uh, windage and elevation so i mean i could sell those you can tell it's what i'm doing right i, I mean really <laughs> i wish i had come up with those because uh, they're just so cool and uh, they're, they're really durable, don't require all the wings and everything. You know, they're just uh, wonderful things. But let me load on Gavin at you. Uh, so anyway, I, uh, I missed mine. And I just got a wild hair one day. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call. What are we going to do, slugs? I'm going to call Wilson Combat and contact them and see, uh, you know, if they would be possibly interested in, in sending me one of these things. Maybe, maybe I'll buy it. I don't know. But... Uh, I just miss it. I really do. And they're wonderful guns. What uh, Wilson does is they take the 870 and, you know, has a two and three quarter or three inch chamber and they do some, some things to it. They dress it up a little bit. Now they're not cheap. I mean, you could probably buy one and put ghost rings on it and everything for less money. Uh, you know, Wilson Combat, uh, Ed Brown, uh, Les Bear, all these custom gun shops. Uh, if you're looking to uh, to do something on the cheap or, or save some money, it's not the place to go, right? But but they do a good job with them, and uh, well, I've got it loaded, but that's okay. They uh, they replace the spring in the tube. It's a it's a heavy duty um, stainless steel spring they put in there. They put a high vis uh, follower you know, on that in the magazine. I'll show it to you when I'm uh, empty here. And they I think this uh, armor tough coating they put on which is supposed to be impervious to any kind of cleaner and everything, which some are not. And you got the, uh, I guess it's the Wilson Combat or Scattergun Tech uh, mag extension, and the sling swivel here. You got a ramp front sight they put on with a, a tritium insert, night sight, and of course the sight here. So the sight combination alone, for me, is worth a lot of money. It really is. Uh, and then what else do they do to it? They put an oversized safety on it. And uh, you can get two or three different stocks on it, I believe. Uh, not a problem with that. And, it, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, it, it's, it's basically an 870. But they do, it's kind of one of those deals where everything you need, nothing you don't. They just do the, the stuff that makes a gun maybe a little bit more reliable, uh, a little smoother. And I don't know what they do in terms of the action. But, uh, you know, there have been some criticisms of Remington in, in recent years of maybe the quality control being down a little bit. But this thing is very, very smooth. I don't know if they smooth it out any or not, or they just get good ones. But it's a, it's a smooth operating uh, firearm, no doubt about that. 
trigger's good. Yeah, I mean, it feels feels really nice. So let's shoot some more. We got slugs in it. So let's shoot something that is slug worthy. Now I've got a little bit of an extension on it there. Did I top it off? No, I didn't do it. Let's top it off. More ammo is always better, right? Oops. Got my uh, my Sturm Gewehr gloves on he gave me. It's rather cold in Tennessee, finally. We're in the 30s today. You know what? We have a cinder block down there that needs to be shot. Safety off, yeah. Let's put one on the gong. We have one left. All right. That racks him. Now you can see the follower. It's a pretty green. It's very easy to see. That's why it's called high vis or high visibility. And it's also, uh, I don't know, some kind of non binding or less likely to bind uh, follower. Okay. Now I think those are the uh, covered everything that's different about it or that, that Wilson Combat does does to the old 870. Now, like I said, you get different stocks, and of course they they put the roll mark on there. Uh, and this is a Border Patrol gun. And as I understand, a, a lot of the Border Patrol officers carry this gun. This uh, from Wilson Combat. I, I guess they had a contract they have for a lot of years, I think. And they actually I don't know what they you know it's a big group buy or something, but uh, that's where it gets the name Border Patrol. And we live close to Kentucky up here in northern uh, Tennessee, middle Tennessee. So we kind of have to watch uh, those people from Kentucky. So, you know, it's kind of handy having a Border Patrol shotgun. You never know. I have a lot of relatives in Kentucky. I'm from Kentucky. I don't want them coming down here finding me. So what are we going to shoot next? Let's put some more slugs in. And uh, I normally don't like gloves at all, but it's so cold. And when I'm shooting a shotgun, it's uh, really not as big a deal. Now, if I was loading a little nine millimeters into magazines or something it'd be different but uh, I can be fumble fingers with gloves and it's not quite so bad so I thought I'd give it a try you know, shotgun okay now this holds six plus one that's what it is Let's put one in there safety on okay what the magazine oh I tell you I can shoot slugs all day Basically, you've got a large caliber rifle when you have slugs in a shotgun, in a good shotgun. It's a cylinder bore, and I believe that was six. Yeah, I guess it was not. Well, yeah, it was. Okay. Now, I think, as best I could tell, I have not adjusted the sight, the rear sight. They seem like they're on okay. All right. I act like I'm talking about a rifle here. Let's put a couple more on the gong. Safety off. Maybe you get a look down that sight. I'll just hold it out there. Uh, if you're not familiar with a, a ghost ring sight, uh, boy, they're just hard to beat. Uh, if they bother you, you've just never thought you wanted one, give it a try sometime. If uh, somebody you know has, has one, uh, shoot the thing. They're just uh, wonderful, especially on a shotgun. Let's try the red plate. Let's pretend we have a rifle. Uh, we do have a rifle. <laughs> oh, we have another one. Let's try a two liter. Oh, it broke it. I'll be darned. <laughs> oh, we have another slug. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I know, I get giddy almost when I'm shooting slugs, but what what could you not hit that you need to hit at, at moderate ranges? You know, we're talking 80 yards, 75, deer hunting, you know, whatever you might be going for, hog hunting, wild boar or something, grizz, you know, if you're in certain parts of the country uh, or planet. I mean, you know, just with a good ghost ring sight and the sights are on, 
Uh, huh. I love it. I love it. I, you know, I might just sell my 4570. And again, we're just shooting. Uh, these are, what are these? Federal, you know, I just pick them up somewhere. Bass Pro, I don't know. I'm trying to find ammo wherever I can these days. And uh, we've got to be careful. <laughs> I have to shoot it all up before I find some more. Uh, but uh, just plain old Foster slugs, whether it's Federal or Winchester, they seem to do just fine. And uh, man, they hit hard. Get there fast and uh, arrive with authority, don't they? So, like I say, six plus one, it almost holds seven. It just comes so close to that. So, what else do we need uh, that's slug worthy? Well, let's 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 try a uh, let's try a couple of turkeys. Uh, let's let's try the goats because uh, the goats on the top row are, are uh, hard steel, pretty hard. try a pig. No, let's try the turkey over there. It's hard steel. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And we have a couple of, well, well, let's go ahead and use slugs on them right here. Let's see how fast we can take them out. <laughs> nice. We have another one. Uh, oh, that propane. Ah. Oh. We have a pot. <laughs> nice. And I do like that high viz uh, uh, follower. It does jump right at you there. So I, I do uh, thank uh, Wilson Combat for uh, uh, letting uh, us have this gun as a T and E gun. I've got to put some uh, bird shot in here. This is uh, this is nice being able to play with one of these things again. I really miss them. Uh, I may just lose this one in the mail. I may not get it back to them. The darndest thing. We, uh, I don't know what happened to that gun. I think, uh, I think it, I just left it somewhere. I'm sorry. I hope you had it insured, didn't you? No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but I do like it. Uh, it's like coming home again to the real deal. I, I know, those, those, uh, those 15 round shotguns are, are pretty interesting. Uh, but uh, you know, you're just less likely to short shuck one of these. And uh, well, they're bigger, of course, but they're just way more fun to shoot. Uh, I mean, we, we have shot the KSG again recently. And if you said, okay, here's a thousand shells, go to the range and have fun today. You know, have a picnic at the range, take whichever of these you want to take. This would be my choice, it really would. Uh, it might be my choice for the bedroom too, to tell you the truth, uh, for you know home security. So, wrong idea there. Uh, all right. Well, we've got bird shot, popped off. Oh, there's a couple of likely bird shot targets. <laughs> there's another one. Uh, it's fun. Let's uh, while we're doing that, let's do that one more time. I love to uh, to show that a pump is no slouch, and uh, we've done that before. Gives me an excuse to shoot some more, though. Uh, you, know, you don't need semi-automatic. You do just have to be careful. You don't short shut, of course. And that is for new shooters when you don't bring the slide all the way back. So you always have to work a slide action pump with authority. You're not going to break it. You bring it all the way back hard, and you won't have that trouble. Uh, what do we have here that needs to be shot? We've got some aluminum. We can go back and forth, maybe. <laughs> One thing is, it runs out of ammo. There's no doubt about that. It doesn't hold as much as the, uh, the Mossberg 590, which is also a favorite of mine. Uh, you know, if I could get these sights you know, on the 590, you know, I could take or leave either one, or, or I could take either one. I don't want to leave either one. They're both really nice guns. A lot of people argue which is better, the 590, the Mossberg 500, or the 870. They're both just really, really sweet uh, shotguns. They both work. And uh, 
well, I don't, we may have to do something at 500 yards of this thing to, to really test the sights. So uh, we've shown this over and over, and for some of you new people, uh, if, if, if you're surprised maybe that the slugs will do what they just did over there, uh, dig back around. We have, gosh, we shot them at 230 yards with, uh, I don't know, in the winter a year or two ago, and uh, some things, and they're just uh, surprisingly uh, accurate, precise at, at, at uh, long range, moderate ranges, they just really are. So uh, they always surprise me over and over. I feel like I'm uh, I'm shooting a rifle, especially if you stand and shoot. Now, if you get on, down in bench rest, you put a scope on this thing, obviously, you're not going to get uh, you know, some kind of uh, half-inch group at 100 yards, probably. But as best I can tell, just standing and shooting, anything I shoot at that's reasonable size, like the, the red plate or whatever it is, I'm not sure I can do any better with uh, most of my rifles, to tell you the truth. So, at least in terms of hitting it. So... Anyway, the, uh, the Border Patrol uh, is, is a nice piece uh, to patrol with, I'll have to say. Uh, you know, you just couldn't, couldn't do a lot better. You essentially have a, a great shotgun, and you also have uh, a rifle, you know, of sorts to speak of, don't you? So, fun, fun, fun. Life is good.